What is going on y'all? High Winds EDC here. My name is Alexander and today we're going to have a two-week overview of this guy right here. This is the Paradrop Leather uh, Triari. This has been a wonderful piece in the collection. It is very photogenic right off the bat, very functional right off the bat. Um, starting to develop a really good patina. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a comparison to some other leather gear that's uh, really known in the community, in the EDC community. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So what we have here, I'll kind of show you what my setup has been for the last uh, two weeks for the most part. Uh, I got to go in here. Sorry. A little bit off screen. Don't worry about it. Take this out. So I carry this to work and I carry it like this. This is how I have it at work. I do have this uh, uh, pilot pen that with the ink, with the gel ink or whatever, and then I have my um, Raylight Pineapple Mini sits really nicely in here, uh, and then on the inside I do carry my Pena dog leg, um, Pena Apache slip joint. Um, so I do have two knives on me. I don't put anything in the designated like pry bar area yet because I don't have anything that I would com comfortably. Uh, put in there so this is still pretty good um, you can see that it's very thin for the most part um, and it does right in your pocket but I do have this extra belt loop and I carry it on my belt while I'm at work uh, very similar to how I would carry something like this this is uh, my uh, push-up this is given to me by uh, Tale of Knives this was a gift um, and they were able to put a keyring uh, holder here with a push-up thing and uh, I carry this on my belt as well um, so the thing that I will notice tell you right now since it is a belt loop instead of a belt clip uh, is uh, taking it on and off is a bit cumbersome so like there's some days I don't want to carry this or I'm coming home from work and I just take it off but I'm able to throw this in the pocket still but I'm not able to put something like this in the pocket um, and if you do have a, like a tail of knives clip which I think is a very functional way to um, put a, uh, a sheath on your belt with these clips, these, uh, I guess what you call it, these uh, panel clips, um, paddle clips or something. Uh, this can come on and off your belt very easily, but uh, the retention isn't as great. Uh, I've been known to like, if I put an umnums on in here, if I put the umnums on in here, which it fits very comfortably, it's so tight in the leather that sometimes the clip comes off of the belt before the knife comes out of the sheath. So yeah, that was a mouthful. Um, so yeah, this is how I carry it. Uh, it does carry knives like the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt very comfortably. It does. Com so what I have to compare that to is this uh, uh, Quiet Carry Drift that's on loan from a friend. Very comfortably fits inside of there. Uh, with this quiet carry, you can definitely put a lanyard and, and make the, the, the in and out action easier. The pull out action, that is. So we'll set that right there for now. Uh, and then whenever I come home, uh, I don't carry two knives like uh, in, the, in the evening affairs. I just carry one and it'll be like this in the pocket. And what I'll do is I'll come, I'll take this out of the sheath. I'll put a set of small Cobra pliers in here and it's still really well, and then I'll slip this in my short pockets or my uh, pajama pant pockets or even my, my, my jeans, like whatever dress up jeans I'll be wearing. So that way it's not on my belt, but I still have everything that I need. Pry, right, light, and then this will be like in the, in the actual uh, pocket. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's been really nice. I really love this, uh, this carrier. It's just, Nobody else is really doing anything like it except for DP Leather and Steel, a really cool guy. I've been able to talk to him a lot, but um, nobody else is really doing this. And I really think Steve over at Paradrop is just doing something that people actually want, actually want to see. This is very photogenic. So you can come right here, right here, snap a photo, snap a photo, and that's that's it. That's your That's your carry for the most part. You don't need anything really outside of this. Like I said, uh, this is for like, if I need to grab onto something or, or um, it's just good to have a set of pliers. And then this kind of compartmentalizes everything. Uh, sorry for the siren in the background. But so I'll compare it to this uh, Tale of Knives uh, standard sheath uh, with the clip. 
Um, so this, this rides very comfortably and it's very easy to slide across your belt. Sometimes this can be a little difficult to slide across your belt because sometimes you want it right up against the belt loop and sometimes you want to like snake it around the back of your hip or something like that uh, to get it out of the way to get access to like your back pocket, your, your, your pocket knife pocket, your front right pocket. This one is, a, is very easy to slip around, but it only carry, carries a knife and a pen. Um, an alternative that I have is this. This is a Tuxedo Jax in brown and red threads. Uh, I put gold threads on this one. Uh, I wanted to go red, but I thought gold is just a little bit, uh, it's just prettier, honestly. So anyways, I do have something like this where I can put a flashlight. Uh, let's see, I do not have my O-light with me right now, sorry. So anyways, you'll have to visualize with me. You'll carry a flashlight, you'll carry a pen. I like the retention on this pen holder a little bit more than I do this one, but that's okay. This one I feel like it'd be a lot better with a mini or mid-size pen, not a full-size pen. And then of course you got your choice of whatever pocket knife you want. This is going to be the ZT0640. And then there's your carry, and it slides off of the belt very easily. Um, compared to this, you'd have you, you can get this with a clip. You can there is an option for it. I've seen it on on his feed, his Instagram feed. But then this becomes impossible to pocket carry, uh, and I wanted to make the most out of this, so I did have to sacrifice easy on and off the belt um, uh, transitions in order to be able to fit this in my pocket. I have not really used this one. I got this one, um, but it is, uh, it's left-handed, so it would go in your front left pocket. Uh, and I haven't used it on the belt at all yet because like I said, this is gonna be like a left-handed orientation and right now I just don't have the need for it right now. I will get around to testing this one and using it a little bit more regularly because I love the color um, that I selected for this one. Um, thank you, Steve. So anyways, um, with that being said, uh, this is a really, really good carry option. Like I said, the leather on this is starting to patina very well. And the reason why I'm a little harder on my leather and stuff is because I use it. I mean, it's on my hip all day. Uh, there are some times where I have to crawl underneath a lawnmower to service out the blades on my lawnmowers, my riding lawnmowers. And uh, this is gonna be pressed up against asphalt or it's gonna be pressed up against a piece of cardboard that I'm laying on um, in order to get out of like stay off of the asphalt or something um, I'm crawling in and out of a, a trailer or in and out of a backhoe or in and out of uh, t confined spaces and so this is gonna rub up again sorry my camera I hit my camera so this is gonna rub up against like uh, uh, asphalt this is gonna rub up against sidewalk this is gonna rub up against my seat belt you know and so it's very like, exposed but I like it the leather is really holding up very well and patinating very nicely um, Let's see, what else can we say about it? Uh, trying to compare it to others. I'm, I'm a big fan of... Oh, okay, I guess we can compare it to this as well because technically this is a pocket caddy um, that I would put something like this in. That's my pocket knife. And then, of course, a Fisher Space pin. So, yeah. So this is comparable to the Tale of Knives Bandit. And the Bandit is a sprint run from Tale of Knives, and I'm really glad I got mine um, when I did because this has just been perfect to carry all the time. The only difference is this one doesn't carry cards. This uh, Paradrop leather, uh, Triari, uh, this one does. So this can function as, a, it has functioned as a, as a full-fledged wallet for me uh, where I just carry this, a couple of cards uh, to scan in and out of work, ID, debit card, and just some other personal information. This one doesn't have that option. I'm sure you could get it uh, configured. Steve is a very cool dude. Uh, he's a very smart dude as well. So his design could probably uh, fit some cards if you ever needed it to. So anyways, this one is smaller. It fits in the pocket a little bit easier. Uh, this one is bulkier. I, I even seen pictures of it on Instagram and stuff. It, I, I, I can't get my fingers around it. This one I can almost, you see I can almost touch my thumb to my middle finger. This one, not a chance, and it's, I didn't realize it was going to be that way, but it still works. It's beautiful. It's very gorgeous. Um, like I, I mentioned that its photogenic abilities are uh, uh, just super optimal for carry and for EDC and for Instagram glamour shots. We'll compare it next to, I guess, already a Leatherman canvas case. So, it's, how th it's very thin, but it is very wide. 
Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update that, that this thing really rocks, man. It really is um, goaded for EDC. I'm very, very, very happy that I've finally gotten to get a hold of this. And uh, uh, if you guys are on his list, his books are still closed. Sorry um, about that. But just be very patient with him. I do believe he is working on a, um, a website. I don't know what the status of it is. And he'll have a little bit more ready to ship gear. I think was one of the goals that he made in one of his posts. Uh, but yeah, the Triari is great for EDC. It passes all inspections and I'm just really glad to have it in my collection and my rotation um, because I've already seen some of his uh, stuff go on the secondary for like at cost, even though it's been used. I'm never gonna sell this one or any, get rid of it, in fact. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Uh, so this was my carry today for church. I did carry this on my belt because I'm wearing a dress shirt. I carried this quiet carry drift. Oh, let's get this as a oh, this is a wonderful shot right here. Let's go ahead and get that. Boom, boom, cool. That's a wonderful, wonderful shot. Let's try to do it again. Maybe I don't know. Um, I tried doing that with my nose just now. Haha. <laughs> So get that out of the frame take another picture take another picture so yeah i mean it's all really good stuff i love it um this is how i carried it today with the pliers i carried it on my belt carried the quiet carry drift in the front left pocket i do have my wilhelm leather wallet uh, i've been carrying this a lot lately since i am no longer carrying the bandit for edc i get to break out my fanciest wallet that i do have this is made out of shark skin love it uh it's got a nice patina on it uh, as well so, uh, and then I do have a bandana, and then the, of course the firearm is gonna be the CZP-01. We'll go ahead and uh, get that off camera. As you can see, there's no rounds or anything in it. Ecoff, uh, CZP-01, uh, beautiful handgun. Carry this to church, guys. Uh, we need to be carrying a little bit more. We can't be lax about this kind of stuff anymore as far as carrying our firearms, uh, get trained. <laughs> I'm trying to myself, I'm trying to train myself uh, with what limiting, what limitations I do have, uh, finances and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, uh, that is neither here nor there. So that was it, that was it, that was the carry for today. Beautiful, beautiful carry. Uh, love all of the things that I do own. And this is a loner. The Quiet Carry Drift is a loner. So yeah, boom, there we go. We love it, we, we love this setup right here. All right guys, y'all have a very good evening. Uh, God bless you all, bye-bye.